Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our flying wing. Now I know, I know this might be getting old for a few of you, or maybe all of you, but uh, I am enjoying building this wing. So essentially we're going to continue on with it today, uh, and what we're going to work on is... There's actually a few things that I do want to do, uh, and one of them is actually adding propellers back to this. But we're not going to do that today. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, try and create some sort of catapult system so that we can launch this thing vertically uh, to begin with. So I think that's what we'll try and do. Okie dokie then. So yes, I want to go ahead and try and make this thing have a vertical launch thing. So a few of you guys were suggesting that we added rockets to this thing. But honestly, I think it's actually powerful enough to just do it itself. So we just need a little platform for it to get fired from. And that's it. So let's get building. Okie dokie. So this is the way we are going to start. I've added a gripper right there because that's the way we are going to start it. Because yes, we will need a gripper in order to actually attach onto the thing that we will be building in a second. So, we need to go ahead and get ourselves the track that it will be sticking to. So, T-R-A-C-K uh, spells track. There we go. And that is literally just going to go right there. We're going to delete this piece and it's going to be massive. There we go. Something like that. That seems pretty good. Actually, that'll totally work. We're then actually going to go ahead and extend this backwards just a little bit more. There we go. To there. Uh, and unfortunately... That means it won't actually work. That does mean it won't work. Now, you might be wondering why, uh, and it's because that wheel will actually get in the way. So we need to come up with a different system of launching this. We do. Okay, so you might be wondering why then, uh, and the reason being is because I don't want to edit this thing at all in terms of its it being able to land and stuff. Uh, we still need that wheel, we still need the ski at the front, and uh, we can't really edit those out. So we're going to keep those, and uh, we're going to try and come up with a different system of moving us around, I guess. Okay, so with that being said then, we need to come up with some good idea, I suppose, and the good idea that I have now got in my head is that we'll essentially just do this, and we'll attach the gripper to there instead, and that will be fine. Now, with that being said as well, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna look fine, but we'll try it. So, gripper is gonna go straight on there. Okay, so that's gonna act like that, that's good. We'll then attach this to here like this, and we'll put the tracks uh, right next to that. Track! Here we go. So, the track is gonna go just on here like this, and that should be able to sail backwards. Oh, it's still going to hit. It is still going to hit it, but it might give us a chance. So there we go. Let's say that's like that. That seems pretty good. All right. So because this is a separate entity, we then need some other things. We're going to go ahead and attach this to both sides of it, just like this. We're then going to get ourselves some pivots. Uh, and those are going to be the things that lift us up into the air, obviously. Because that's usually how it works. Uh, and they're going to have to be on a different piece. They are actually going to have to be on a different piece. So we're going to do this. We're actually going to do that. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring this out this way. And honestly, I think we'll be able to do it from here. So if we put this on just like this. There we go. We should be able to angle it now into the sky. At least, maybe. All right, connect that with there. Oh, God. Connect it. Right, connect this with here. This with here. Uh, and that should be it. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, cool. So let's say we did that. We now need to be able to just actually stand up on this. So we're going to get some weight blocks, and that's going to be how we stay up. So we're going to do something like this, something like this, something like that. And honestly, it might as well attach itself together, at least a little bit. Uh, but that's not right. I feel like it should be higher. So we'll actually do this downwards. There we go, at least a good chunk like this. And then we'll have a block on the bottom that brings it forwards and backwards and then attach it all together, pretty much, I think is what we need to do. There we go. So it will, in theory, launch itself. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. Right, put that there. Merge this with this. That's very good. And then we can just do this. Hold on. From right there all the way to here. Very good. Okay, so our plane is going to weigh more than that, obviously. Because um, it's a big boy plane. But we're going to go ahead and put a bunch of weight on here anyway. And we'll see if we can just get it working. 
I want it to work. I really want it to work. So battery is going to go right there. There's no reason for it to not go right there, I don't think. So we'll put it right there. Good. We'll then connect the battery to this guy and this guy. And that's it. Okay, good. We'll then have ourselves a throttle so we can actually move it around. And we'll put that right there. That seems pretty good. Attach that on, obviously, and attach this straight to there, straight to there. That's it. That's essentially all we need to do right there. Then finally, we need the brake to automatically be on, on this guy, and it's going to be right there. So turn this so that it is automatically on, and that's it. I think that's all we need to do. Okay, so let's say that's it. <laughs> let's say that's it. That's pretty good. Okay, so now if we do something like this. All right, it's the other way around. Guys, it is the other way around. We can't have it doing that all the time. So it's actually minus one is the max value. Bam. Minus one. Okay, right. Save it as... Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and save it as... And we'll spawn it outside and we'll see if it works. Okay, there it is right there. So that actually looks okay to me. That actually looks pretty good. We'll then have it go so it points upwards at least a little bit. Uh, maybe even fully vertical. We can totally try that. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I feel like that camera is going to be a massive problem. That's okay, right? Let's do this. Okay. That's not too bad. We'll then have to put some sort of ladder somewhere on here, or at least something that allows us to climb up, which would be great. Yes. And then we'll go ahead and jump in. Oh, God. I still can't even... Oh, no, I can. There we go. Okay, so it takes off vertically now. <laughs> this is weird. All right, okay, so. Jet engine's on. Throttle lever up. There's an enemy about to attack me. Okay, and I'm dead. <laughs> that ain't it. That's not what's supposed to happen. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, no, it is actually in the air. Okay, so we can vertically launch these things. That's a good idea. I like that. That's cool. That is very, very cool. It still works, even though it's very damaged. It still works, though. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, dokey. Right, so apparently it had actually damaged one of our bombs. And as I was flying around, it blew up on me. So that's a thing. That's good. <laughs> that's good. All right, cool. Let's try that again without actually dying this time. Hopefully that'll be fine. Okie dokie, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, there we oh, Jesus. Okay, no, that ain't it. That's not really what's supposed to happen. That isn't supposed to happen. I'm not going to lie to you. No. No, yeah, you see that? That isn't it. That's not what's supposed to happen. Okay, so if we do it, it needs to be slower. There we go. Just a Wait, what? The brakes turned off instantly that time. Okay, right, let's try it one more time. Here we go. Right, so the brake should be on. And now if I did this. Shouldn't really slide off. Where are we getting shot from? Is there going to be rockets? Who knows? Uh, right, okay, so we got to get inside the bottom again. I don't think that brake is working, so we have to fix that. But I like the system. We then point it up into the sky. We need some sort of way of getting in. But once we've done that, we just turn it on, we go ahead and do this, and we take off. I like it. Taking off at an angle is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Now that is awesome. We can start the engines, but our spoiler to full so we don't go straight away. Uh, put it at full throttle, and then just go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, that wasn't amazing. I think the brake does actually do something. Maybe. Uh, can we still see with this? Yes, we can. Okay, so press 5. Okay, let's see if we can bomb an island uh, in the meantime. So, let's say it goes on our screen. There we go. Press 6. It drops the bombs. Is it going to hit the island? Whoa. I think we missed. <laughs> I think we missed the island, guys. Did we miss? I think we missed the island. I don't see where the bombs went. I don't know where the bombs went. But anyway, that's fine. That is not an issue. Yes. All right, cool. I like it. 
Okie dokie. So, yes, it does work, but at the same time, no, it doesn't work. Uh, which is a very odd thing to say, but it is true. Uh, this thing does have electricity, so it does break. It just doesn't break very well. Unless we haven't attached it to break. No, we have. So, yeah, the break just doesn't work very well. Unless we attached another one of these, let's say. And then maybe it would work. <laughs> Attach the other brake to the same place. There we go. Do these guys need electricity? No, they don't. That's it. That's all we got to do. All right, cool. So, let's put it in. We can actually test this inside of here. The brakes do appear to be working, at least to begin with. If we then do this, they stop working whenever we angle it. Which means they're not working at all, right? I think that's what that means. Pretty sure that's what that means. All right, I turned the brakes off for reasons. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, we should be able to just do this now. Okay, which is very interesting. And that is a vertical takeoff right there. I like the idea of a vertical takeoff. In terms of not the actual plane doing it, but yeah, this is interesting. But I don't know. Right, okay, we're going to go with green. We're going to change the color of it. I know it's very random for me to do this, but there you go. It's going to be this color. Uh, I like this color a lot. I think it just looks really cool. So we're going to stick with this. Uh, right, okay. Right, what do we do now? What do we do now? Who knows? Okie dokie. So, yes, the vertical takeoff system does sort of work. And at the same time, no, the vertical takeoff system does not work. Which is a very weird thing to say because it is both yes and no. Um, which is odd. That is an odd thing. However, if we add one more break, maybe that'll help. Who knows? Go ahead and turn it on. There we go. This is brakes, kinda. That's what it's gonna be called, brakes, kinda. And that's it. All right, cool, it's gonna be added. Save it, and then we can put it outside, and then maybe it will work. Let's see. Okie dokie, so, so far, so good. This actually looks like it might be working at least a little bit, which is perfect. As soon as we lift it up, it is still working. It does slide a little bit though, and that's a problem. But you know what? Once it's in this state, I guess that's fine. All right, cool. If we then do this even more, we can actually get it fully vertical. Uh, and that will work. All right, cool. There is one more change that I want to make then. I want to put a ladder on the bottom of this uh, so that we can actually get into the, the actual plane. It might work. It might not. Okie dokie. Ladder is going to go on. Here we go. Ladder. There we go. Go ahead and set it in the right place. So essentially, this is going to go all the way up to there. There we go. And we're going to delete it as we go down, which is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. And that should be it. Let's save it. Uh, override the other one, and that'll be good. I do want to make this look better as well. I'm not going to lie. This currently doesn't look very good. But uh, we can make it look better uh, if we wanted to. Maybe in the future. We'll see. Okily dokily then, let's go ahead and uh, whack this all the way up to full, which is that. There we go, that's pretty good. Uh, it then rests really nicely. We then go over this way. We go ahead and we jump up. We get on a ladder. We climb all the way to the top of said ladder, uh, just like so. There we go, very good. We then go to the... Oh, okay. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting, guys. We're going to have problems here. Okay, there we go. Go to the side slightly and jump across. Hmm. Okay. It's difficult to get into, apparently. But that's fine. Don't you worry. Okay, so we put the spoiler on full. Okay, once the engines have started, the, poil the spoiler's going to go on full. So it doesn't move. And then what we're going to do is we're going to release the brakes. So currently there are no brakes on it. And then we're just going to go. Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And we are out of here. Why do we need that? Who knows? But well, we've got it now, so that's cool. <laughs> okay, so upon further thoughts, uh, it doesn't actually matter whether it's that long either. So we might actually be able to make it so there's a little bit of a platform so we can actually jump in. However, that is completely unnecessary and we don't need to do it. The last thing that I do want to do today, though, is I want to just go ahead and paint this bit on the underside. Uh, red, because honestly I feel like it should be the same color as the other fins on the top. So we are going to go ahead and do that. There we go. It is painted all the way around. And the other one should be too. Very good. So yeah, we've added a little platform with a little bit of a ramp. And once we go up the ramp, we can actually fire ourselves to space. And once we're in space, 
we, we, we're good. We're good. We're also going to do this. Um, just like that. There we go. And that will allow us to actually get inside, which is perfect, because that's where we need to be. Good. Good. That's it. That's all we need. There's a little bit more to this, though. I'm going to go ahead and jug this, the right color. There we go. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to jug this, this, and uh, this. There we go. And we're going to leave the rest of it as is. Now, you might be wondering why. Uh, it's just because I want to. That's the reasoning. Okie dokie. Very good. That actually looks pretty all right. That looks pretty all right. Okay, so it's a very basic thing. I did just want to see if my plane had enough power to do this. Uh, and if we could come up with a system that would allow it to do it all the time without this thing, that would be great. But yeah, we don't need rockets or anything, so we're powerful enough to just take off. Great. And there she is, sat on the runway, looking glorious, which is awesome. And I think, I think we'll actually leave this one here. The next video is going to be probably the penultimate video. So the last video in the series, I guess, possibly. Uh, that wasn't very good, let me try again. Uh, yeah, probably the last video in the series, possibly, maybe. Uh, and essentially what I want to do is... Why is it, like, super speeding me forwards? That's really weird. Uh, what I want to do is actually have a combination of both propeller and jet engine. Now, you might be thinking, probably a stupid idea. But the B-36 had it, so maybe it's not. Who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and take off one last time, and I'll show you guys that it does actually work. Okie dokie, everybody ready? Everybody ready? I haven't done any, uh... Oh, there we go. I'll just turn this off. We're ready. We'll just go whenever it spools up. And then once we're going, that is amazeballs. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's get a picture of it, too. Look at that. That's actually crazy. That's so cool. Alright, then off we go. We're just flying in the right direction, and we are good to go. Awesome. Okay, so now one thing that I would say was this is actually probably better off for something like a uh, interceptor uh, instead of whatever the heck this is. Um, but you know what? It is just worth trying, so we did it. You know, at the end of the day, that's all you can do. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. In the next video, we'll probably end up adding the propellers uh, and we'll also possibly add a frantic logo to the wing as well. Maybe? We'll see. Uh, yeah. So stay tuned for next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.